Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you a cool trick for all of those that have been asking me. Can I uninstall the default apps in Windows 10 that doesn't have the uninstall in the uh, menu? Now if you run Windows 10 and you've noticed that some apps by default run, say for example your uh, film and TV will be there by default and run videos and stuff like that but you maybe have your own apps that run what you want and you're thinking well I would like to uninstall some of these apps so the problem is when you right click on such an app there's no uninstall button so for example uh, say that I go in all my apps and I check for my uh, film and TV which is movies and TV on some countries. When you right click, there's no uninstall button in the more. There's pin, there's rate, and there's share, but no uninstall. So for some people that is annoying. And in my case it is, because I don't use that. I never use it. And I don't want to use it. <laughs> so um and it's personal, you know, I, I prefer having some other apps run my videos, for example. Well, there's a way to uninstall these apps, and it is using CCleaner. CCleaner is a general program that's very popular. A lot of people clean their computers with it, and uh, even though I'm not a big fan of such software, uh, there are some uses to CCleaner sometimes that's interesting, and in this case, the uninstall of CCleaner is pretty cool for that. So I'll post a link to the website where you can download this software don't search for it you have speed up and optimize your PC with CCleaner and you have the free download button right here make sure that you download the free version when you click you'll see that there's a free version but there's professional professional plus unless you want to pay and have even more protection it has more options but there's a free version um, once you've downloaded this you can actually run CCleaner and we'll do that and in the panel for CCleaner, what's cool is on the left side you have tools. You can click there and the first option is uninstall. Now look at this. I'm going down and I said I wanted to uninstall film and TV. Here it goes. I click and I just click the uninstall button and press OK. And it uninstalls the film and TV app from my computer. So every app that you don't use that is not available through the uninstall of uh, Windows, well, you can uninstall here. There's a word of caution I want to warn everybody here. If you uninstall the Windows Store, because it is possible to uninstall the Windows Store, one of the biggest problems is that if you uninstall the Windows Store from here, you will not be able to re-download these. So here you see Store. So I would recommend that you at least keep the store in your Windows 10 install because if you don't, the problem is the film and movies, the every app that you've uninstalled from Windows 10 is available in the store. So you can go and get it back as long as you have the store. If you remove the store, you won't be able to get those because you don't have a store to go to. So I would at least you know say keep the store just in case you want to reverse the decision a little later on if you did remove the store because you said well I'm not going to the store and I don't want the store uh, the only way to get it back will be through a PowerShell command uh, so be warned it's not super easy to get it back once you've uh, actually deleted the store but it's pretty cool if you don't use some of these apps well why not use CCleaner to remove the apps you don't use? And you'll be able to have even more space on your device thanks to removing some of these apps. Uh, some people sometimes will prefer to uh, remove those because they have very little disk space. And you know what? I like, I'm in a, kind of an old, um, in an old way of working that I like here. Um, you know, I've got the uh, DOM pod player for my. Uh, videos and also for the music so I don't really feel like I'm having a um, you know to need these apps anymore so it's cool that you can uninstall it using CCleaner
So that was my tips and tricks for today. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, any other videos you'd like to see, let us know. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and give us thumbs up. Always a pleasure to be posting these videos for you guys. And uh, look for the link to the C Cleaner in the description below the video. So thanks for watching.